Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie Heert, and it is time for the animal messages for August 2024. I'm so glad you're here. We've got a lot of things to cover, I think. <laughs> So we'll get started here in just a second. Just so the for those of you who are new here, uh, I am Julie Heert. I am a certified soul level animal communicator and a certified soul level intuitive coach. And every month what I do is so in the month of July, all of the animal communication readings that I had, they all have soul level lessons that come through at the end of every reading. And what happens is there a thread or a theme begins to form uh, that all the lessons kind of have a similar undertone. And there can be a couple different directions for that overall theme, but that theme is what then then I work with the animals towards the end of the month to create and craft their message that they want to share with everybody for the month of August. So this is what they are talking about in August. If you remember at the very beginning of 2024, they were talking about their overall theme for the year was going to be um, creating more wholeness and also creating more connection and even creating wholeness through connection, whether it was deeper connection with your pet, deeper connection with everyone around you. And by everyone, I mean humans, trees, <laughs> insects, everything around you, as well as your full community and whatnot, as well as creating a um, deeper connection with the divine. So their whole theme around all of that connection and creating that wholeness, uh, that's been the theme for the whole entire year. And then every month they've taken a step forward in um I don't want to say completing because it's never done, right? But in getting closer to that becoming whole. Um, so last month, if you remember, they were helping us uncover the strength that we had already within us. And the month before that, for June, they were helping us get to a point of confidence uh, that we are also already had. So what was interesting was that there was a slight switch from the first part of the year to from in the first part of the year, we had things that we were looking for and working with and working to kind of bring into ourselves. And the last couple months, uh, they've been actually working with things that we already possess. So there was just this little bit of a switch. So they continue with that. And the animal messages for August are all about raising your voice. So we, as many of you know, we have a lot of things on our plate. We've got a lot of things to take care of. We've got a lot of issues at hand that need to be worked through, worked on, whatnot, our own self, the greater, higher good, all of it. And we're being called and the animals are inviting us to do this. And this month it's through raising your voice. So there's a couple of buckets in this raising your voice. So the whole entire, um, all of the, everything in this video may not resonate with you, but you may most likely you'll fall into one of these buckets. Um, and so that's why they wanted to kind of separate things out. So from raising your voice, there is also an element of believing because as you believe, like you can feel that here and then that helps bring strength and expression to your voice. So when you believe that you are, you that you've got this, and when you believe that you're good enough, and when you believe that the animals are here to help, like, I don't know if you can feel that, but I can like the strength really kind of <clears throat> like this, and I get confident, and I'm able to raise my voice. So this belief bucket is one of them. Believe that you're good enough. Believe that you're wanted. Believe that your voice needs to be added to the chorus of everything else. We need to hear your voice. Believe. So the second bucket is trusting your intuition or trust, I should say, trust, overall trust, which I know a lot about learning trust because that's Lucas's biggest message for me over the course of our so far, he just turned eight. So almost a little over six years now we've been together. Trust has been a big thing. In fact, my Substack column is called Trust the Animals uh, it, because trust is such a big thing. So they're really in the second bucket looking at different ways for us to trust in an effort to raise our voice. So even trusting our voice, trusting that what we have to say is important. It is. Believe me, it is. So trusting that what you have to say is important. Trust yourself. 
trust your intuition. Of course, if I didn't say that already, I mean, we want to make sure we get that set, um, said. And going back to trusting what you need to say, even if what you need to say is stop, trust it and let it come out because you get to call the shots. You get to say yes or no. You get to say stop or go ahead. So say it. Um, that And so trust was another thing. And then also I want to say within trust, there's also this um, trusting that disconnection can also be helpful. So if you're in a situation that no longer serves you, whether it be a job, whether it be even, you know, scrolling on your phone or um, watching a certain set of TV program or going out to an event, if it's something that doesn't serve you, trust that disconnecting from it is going to be just fine. The universe has your back. Your animals have your back. You can absolutely disconnect from any of all of that and be absolutely fine. Um, and always trust that the ones who need to connect with you can also find you and also trust your intuition that if they don't feel right for you, you don't have to connect with them either. Um, we also just want to say you are worthy of love and trust yourself to, ex to accept it when someone gives back to you what you put out in the universe because you're you're worthy to accept that back so trust is the second bucket so we had believe we've got trust and now the third bucket you know many times the animals talk a lot about self-care and they talk about taking care of yourself and there was um a couple of readings in particular where i thought it was crazy that the same theme came through but it was queen for a day you get to be queen for a day. You get to take care of yourself exactly as you would want to take care of others. Absolutely be queen for a day. And again, if people, if you do put a lot of yourself out there and then people are actually saying, allow me to do the same for you, accept the favor. Uh, in doing that, you're actually honoring everybody else. So you're actually growing the care that you give for others by accepting it from others. I know it sounds a little backwards, but if you think about it, if you think about it from like a karma perspective, what you put out, you get back. What is yours is what you give away. Same aspect as far as care. So three buckets, believe, trust, and queen in an effort to get you to raise your voice. So believing in yourself, believing your voice, trusting yourself, trusting your voice, trusting that disconnecting is okay, and taking care of yourself, of course, to be able to raise those vocal cords as loud as you want to. So now the question is how do these animals, do these animals, do the animals actually help you raise your voice all through the month of August? So there's a couple of different ways that they can do this. And what I would say to you is when an animal around you that you're close to, it can be your dog, your lizard, your ferret, your cat, your horse, your llama, your cow, whatever it may be, your snake even, any and all things, when they do a behavior that makes you go, hmm, and you can really feel that it it either bothers you, it worries you. Um, worrying can be a superpower, don't forget. So anything that causes you to go, hmm, and kind of really, I just say, I don't want to use the word nag, but it's more like it just kind of gets underneath your skin. That's their way of communicating with you that there's something in there for you to take a look at. So say, for example, like for me, um, Lucas, for example, uh, he's been helping me all, you know, two months ago is confidence. He's been working with me on confidence. And one of those ways is that he's really afraid of thunderstorms. He's very afraid of big booms and noises and things like that. So thunderstorms, gunshots, and crazy that I have to say less gunshots in there that he hears them. But anyways, but gunshots, um, what else? There's other stuff around here. If we get um, uh, just really large, um, if there's construction, it's just boom and it shakes the house. I know this to some degree goes back to an earthquake that we all lived through that was a 7.1, but that's another story. Anyway, but what will happen is he will show me how incredibly afraid he is. And instead of, and because it really bothers me when he's really afraid, he's actually doing that so that I'm like, oh, why does that really bother me? And it's I just don't feel like I'm good enough to be able to care for him. I feel like I'm helpless. I feel like I can't change anything for him. And so when I sit with that and I think about it, it's like, okay, so when a thunderstorm comes up, what can I do? It's, oh, I can just be in it. I can relax in it. I can, it's okay. I can tell him it's okay. We got this. I can act confident about it. Um, and it's those types of things where I just really try to understand when he does something 
is he trying to show me something about myself and how I feel about something? And can I peel that onion back? And what is it that I need to um, be able to uncover about myself? So like, for example, so another example I should say is like, if your animal's like starting to have accidents in the house, or if they're putting their nose in the air, or if they're suddenly appearing anxious, like Lucas did for thunderstorms, or if they're suddenly snugging up to you, or they're having zoomies or whatever it is, if it is something that you feel activates you and you want to understand, um, you know, whether you're annoyed or whether you're afraid of it or whatever, just ask yourself, why does it grab my attention so strongly? And see if you can't make it about you. Um, everything's just buzzing off you see everything's all excited we've got things going everywhere um so what does it bring up for you so the again the animal's going to try and get your attention so that you can dive into that feeling about yourself you want to use it to ask your animal for even more information more help more signs um and of course if you're not sure you can always book a session with me as well so that's the animal lesson for the month of August. I do hope you have a really good month. I do want to make you aware about two really cool events uh, that are coming up. As you know, I am the co-host of the Animal Communication Podcast, and Karen Meredith and I are going to be in the exact same room at the same time on August 14th. And so what we thought we would do is do a live recording for the Animal Communication Podcast. So if you go to my website under events, you will see that you can register for a Zoom event and you can join us on Zoom for this recording. And what you'll do is you're gonna ask your question of your animal in the chat and the three of us are gonna choose intuitively. And for an hour, we're gonna do mini animal communication readings. So sign up and I hope you'll join us there. Also at the end of the month on the 28th of August, it is rain. It is rainbow remembrance day or rainbow bridge sorry rainbow bridge remembrance day i knew there was a cadence in there rainbow bridge remembrance day is august 28th and carrie kenny as you know from my uh partnership with her she is a yoga informed trauma instructor we are teaming up again to do a special edition of the pet loss grief circle it's going to be two hours it's 6 30 p.m eastern registration opens for that on august 6th uh, we uh, allow eight people to participate so that I can connect to each and everybody's pet and we can see those themes that come through and we can share additional work to work through that grief. So uh, hopefully if that's something else that uh, is interesting to you, then please go ahead and sign up for that. Registration again opens August 6th. And I hope to see you on the Animal Communication Podcast on the 14th as well. If you have any questions or need any assistance, don't hesitate to reach out and have a great month raising your voice. We'll see you here next month for September's.